Welcome to GOMO, your new authoring tool. In this introductory video, we'll be touring some of the key features of the product. You'll then find lots more videos going into more depth into each of these features available at gomolearning.com support. GOMO is a cloud-based collaborative authoring tool which lets you create responsive, adaptive, multi-device learning. Let's log on to GOMO. So here I am looking at the main GOMO portal. So in my browser, I just enter my credentials and click the login button. This now loads up my own particular area of GOMO and it's showing me all of the projects that I'm currently working on. And if I have the small teams or the enterprise edition, I can also be sharing these projects with other members of my team. We also have the ability to create a new project here. Let's have a look at some of the other things on this screen. At the top here, if I click on the Shared Content tab, this will show me all of the resources that I have available to use within my project. So these are the images, audio files, video files, which I can then incorporate within a particular project. And it's showing me on the left here all the folders that I have. And I can have a folder which is specific to a particular project I'm working on. Or I can create a folder, for example, to store company icons and commonly used imagery, which I can then share with the team to be used across projects. If I want to upload some more resources, I just go to the top right, click on Actions, click on Upload Files, and now I can just simply drag and drop files from my local computer onto the area here, or I can click on the Select File button to browse for them. And once they're uploaded, those are then available to anyone in my team, wherever they might be located geographically. What we also have here is the Themes tab. Now this is showing me all of the themes that I have available to apply a look and feel to my particular projects. Now in GOMO you don't have to worry about specifying particular fonts and colours and sizes and all the different colours you're going to use for all the different interactions. In GOMO you just focus on creating your content and the structure and then you apply a theme to it where a theme is like a super style sheet which takes care of all of the elements of the look and feel and how your project is going to run. What this means is that you can either select one of the built-in themes or you can customize and save a theme uh, for your own use. So, for example, you can encapsulate your particular organization's brand guidelines, save those in a theme, and then make those available to other members of the team. So all of you can be working on different projects, but then as long as somebody uh, just applies that same theme, you can be sure that the resulting published course is going to have a consistent look and feel. So let's go back to the project view and here I'm going to open up a particular project so let's just click on this one. So this now shows me the structure, the high-level structure here of the project. So it's showing me that this particular project has a top level menu item, which is then linked to these four items under there. And I can either view this in this tree view, or I can just click at the top left and look at that in the list view and see the hierarchy of the topics here. Let's go back to the tree view here. And here, the first thing I can do is to preview this to see how this course currently looks. So I just click on the actions list here at the top right and I can select preview project. What it now does is just take that course with the theme that I currently have selected for it and then it just loads it into a separate tab in my browser and by default it's going to show me how this will look if I'm viewing this actually in, on a desktop, in a desktop browser. So you can see here that it's uh, filling the screen 
and I can now see how this works. So for example here I can just select one of these topics there and now it's showing me the desktop layout where we have these two columns here and I have a content block on the right and it's showing me that we have a question there. But if I want to see how that would look, for example, on a tablet, I go back to the preview drop down here, click on that and I can now select tablet and it automatically then responds and it reflows the layout here and shows me how that would look on a tablet such as an iPad. Again, I can say, well, how would this then actually look on a smartphone? So I can just select smartphone. And here again, it just responds by reflowing the layout and this time giving the best possible layout for the smartphone view. So you can see that GOMO gives you this responsive and adaptive layout automatically and you don't have to specify upfront when you start a project what screen size you're designing this for, but GOMO will automatically take care of adjusting the layout to fit the size of the device or desktop that you're viewing it on. Let's go back to the editor view here. So Let's now go and have a look at the actual content of one of those topics. So for example here we have the overview topic. Now if I was uh, collaborating on this project with another member of the team and they were editing this topic I would also see a lock icon here with their name under it so I'd be able to see who's currently working on that and then it wouldn't let me go in and edit it and undo any of their changes. So just one of the collaborative features within GOMO. So if I just click on this topic what it's now going to do is uh, load up the GOMO editor so it opens a separate tab in my browser and it's going to show me the the structure that we have for this particular topic so we have the topic view at the top saying overview and on the far left here we have the navigator panel and this is showing me all of the screens that I have within this topic so all I do is just click on any of those to see the content of that particular screen. And if we go to the top there, in the middle what we have is the content area. And again, here we don't have to specify a particular size for the content. What we have instead in GOMO is this idea of content blocks. And if I click on one of those blocks, you can see on the right hand side we have the properties of the layout block. And these blocks can be divided into a certain number of columns. And it's these blocks and columns that GOMO then uses to give its responsive layout across multiple devices and desktops. And to add in content into these blocks, all we have to do is just go to the Assets tab here at the top left and this now shows me the range of things that we can add in, all these different assets that can be added into a particular screen and to add any of those in all you do is simply just click and drag to add in the particular asset that you've chosen, just drag and drop in there puts in the placeholder and on the right hand side you can see the properties for the particular thing that I'm working on. So for example here I can either double click on the placeholder or click the configure button and now it brings up in this case just for the text. I can add in some text and format it and so on and apply a style which will then be picked up by the theme and we'll be having a look at the idea of themes in more depth in one of the other videos available at gomolearning.com slash support. If I just click apply, it's now added that in there. So 
that's the principle of uh, being able to look at the content of screens, being able to set your layout in blocks and columns, and then to add in your assets, or this whole range of things from simple things like text to interactive images to a more sophisticated interactions like film strip and comic strip. At the bottom here, we can just click and we have all these different types of, of questions that we can add in as well to be able to create assessments. And once we've finished working on this particular topic, can click, simply click Save. That will save the topic. And now we can just go back to our, to our main screen. So I'm just going to close the editor there. And so we can work on editing this particular project topic by topic. We can preview it as we've seen. We can change the settings here at the top. So for example, we can choose to modify the theme for a particular project. Just click on customize themes. And that then lets us go in and specify particular colors and fonts to be applied to styles for this particular project. I just close that, go back to the project structure. And now once I've finished editing and once I've previewed the project, I can now go and publish that. So if I just click the, the publish item here, it will now take this content, apply the theme, and if I go back to the list of all my projects here, what I'll see is that it's now publishing it. So it's taking all of that and it's now going to here give me a download. And if I click download, that will then download the project wrapped up as a SCORM compliant zip file ready to upload to a SCORM compliant learning management system as, such as Moodle or I can unpack that and that's just a whole bunch of HTML files with JavaScript and CSS so I can just put that on a web server and just link it directly in, into a website if I want to. So that's a br very brief initial guide to using GOMO Find out more on gomolearning.com slash support.